Hi, YouTube. Um, today is Tuesday, February 1st, 2011. And uh, as I look outside, it is a what they call a blizzard. So just thought I'd take a few uh, few moments that I had and go over a few things. In the last week or two, I've been uh, called to a couple of friends and a co-workers to assist them in making their computer speed up. And the common thread of all this was essentially malware and some viruses. And so I wanted to show you a couple things just to kind of help you with some of your everyday uh, maintenance uh, with a PC. And that's easy to do, but uh, if nobody's ever showed you, sometimes that's not as easy to do. So uh, the disk defragmenter, which you can actually get to if you don't have it uh, loaded up as I do, you can go into programs. You go to accessories, and this is going to be the same path whether you're on XP, Vista, or Windows 7, which is what this is. Uh, it's going to be under your system tools. Uh, once you're in accessories, which is going to be right here, and then disk defragmenter. You're going to open that up. Uh, I'd recommend uh, most people, if you do or don't lose your computer on, or at least leave it on one night a week, go ahead and just configure this. Go into the schedule it, and set this up so it runs weekly. I do mine weekly. That might be a little overkill. Monthly is probably good, but um, I just do it weekly. I do it 1 a.m. And of course you can go in and select which disks you want to do. Uh, and in this case, that's the default. I'm going to do my two backups essentially. And the reason I'm not doing my primary drive is as you can see it's an SSD. Uh, and it is showing 17% fragmented difference between an SSD and a traditional hard drive is in the way it retrieves the data. Um, a traditional hard drive is like a round disk or a platter and each sector holds information. The closer together that information is on various sectors, if you think of a record player, if all my information is on closest to the inside of that spindle and it's all lined up, when that read head, just like a record player, is going to come over and read it, it's going to read it a lot faster. And that's why you defragment. Uh, fragmentation means it's all over the place, so that, that data gets spread across that entire platter. So some's on the outside, some's in the middle, some's on the inside. With an SSD, that's exactly how it reads data. It's a non-moving uh, form of memory and storage, and so that information gets placed maybe in 10 or 12 different locations, but the SSD reads it instantaneously from all those locations at once. So it doesn't stream in the data, uh, it pulls it all at once. That's why it's there so much faster. So fragmented, uh, fragmentation on an SSD is not a bad thing. Uh, on any other drive you're doing, if you want to do it just as we're talking, or uh, once you see this video, basically good thing to do is hit analyze video, or analyze your disk. Typically doesn't take long. Uh, I've got about 200 gigs on that disk, but it is defragmented, and I've got a fairly fast system and hard drive, so it's pretty quick. Um, if you go to defragment, it could take upwards of hours, depending on uh, the speed of your hard drive and how much information you're actually dealing with. If you've got a terabyte drive with 800 gigs of information, it's going to take a couple hours to do at least. So that's step one. Next thing we're going to do... Uh, and then I'll pull this up for this. I've got some other stuff. I actually use Chrome. But in this case, we're going to go to malwarebytes.org. This is a great product. Uh, it was put on to me actually a little while back um, by an instructor. And basically, you can download the free version, and it will run just fine. Uh, the advantage to buying the full version is you can schedule it, just like I showed you uh, with the disk defragment. So you could have it run once a week, once a month, whatever. Uh, with the free version, you get all the benefits of the program, but it doesn't run automatically. Um, so that's the first thing you want to do. And I'll show you since I have it installed. And basically, here's what it looks like once you're installed. It's always good to do a quick scan on this system. It takes about a minute and a half. Um, the full scans, a little more, that's good if you, if you know you've got uh, some malware or something like that. And then, of course, you've got other options, all kinds of, uh, and here, here shows you the difference. Real-time production module when you buy the full version. 
automatic malicious site protection, scanner and updater scheduler, and prior to customer service. So if you have any questions or whatever, you can ask them. So there's the difference between the two. Uh, you will get your updates. Basically, check for updates. It's always about a six meg file. And this is just updating the definitions. So each day when they find more malware, as new malware hits the, hits the internet, this updates the, the definition so they know. And then it says you have the updated version. So there's obviously, I haven't updated in probably a week. On that amount of time, they've updated this several times. So that's just a couple. And then you can go through and see the quarantine things that I've had in the past. Um, obviously, you can go in and say delete them, and it'll clean them up. Um, and then we go into the other site, which is, I know a lot of people use, um, a lot of people use this, which is avg.com. It's free. It's good. Um, there has been a few issues with it. Most recently, just before Christmas, their update essentially blue screened or crashed 64-bit operating systems. They came back and fixed it right away, but if you happen to get caught in that automatic time, um, it was not fun. I had a laptop that got caught and had to deal with it. Great software, not going to say it's not, but a little bit lighter version that I found that works just as well. Um, I'm actually going to go, and it is Microsoft Security Essentials. Now, if you have, obviously, a 32-bit system, this might be better just to pull it up. Their basic site here, Microsoft Security Essentials. You download this. Uh, it is a full-fledged antivirus program. It is 100% free. You get all the updates. Um, it is very comprehensive. It even has some malware protection in it. Um, I like the malware bytes as kind of an added layer because that's typically what's going to slow your system down. And within that, I'll show you what it looks like. We've got the little Microsoft Security Essentials here. Um, obviously, it's real-time protection. It updates, shows the last time. The last time it checked definitions was today, uh, just a couple hours ago. Shows you the history. I uh, found something there and removed it. And of course, you can do the settings to scan and do all that jazz as well. And of course, you can do a little more with this than you can now. You, if you're, if you want to schedule it during the day, which I don't necessarily suggest, you can tell it to limit to how much computer uh, CPU it has. So. You would hit save changes and you can go through all these different setups so pretty customizable so those are the three things i would suggest to uh, invest 10 minutes into installing and checking and hopefully your system will run faster if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and i will answer them as i can thanks